Well, <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. I'm surprised it's not like a foot deep out here right now. It was big old flakes falling. And it's about, it's 33, it's one degree above freezing. It, uh, with all that snow, it didn't, didn't stick. Kind of weird. Again, it's like, you know, before it's kind of a wet snow. But we got a dusting. It's pretty. Hot dang. Anyway, it's hump day. Check this out. We come down off of that hill and you'd never know it snowed at all. nice and green getting greener as if trees are fall filling in look at this get down here by dr pierce's and even the sun is out blue skies up there i love it like yesterday at work as soon as that sun hits that road all the steam comes up that is beautiful look at that <laughs> look at the slight elevation of this hill right here and all the snow in the trees. I remember when I was a kid living in the south and I hear them talking about a snow line. I go, what are you talking about a snow line? Then you go out in the mountains and clearly, especially at a distance, you can see it. There's a snow line. Snow? No snow. <laughs> There's the line between them. No sign of snow down here in Van Chulo. Nope, just lots of wet. Snow. Yeah, a lot of wet. Gonna be a wet day. It is. <laughs> well, Mama. Yes, I hope. We made it to that hump day. We did. We did. We'll go over the top and slide down the other side. What you reckon? I think it's a good <laughs> idea. All right, Mama. All you right. have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. You too. And I'll see you as the day goes on. Sounds like a plane. All right. All right. Love to see you. Bye. I love ya. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Check it out. Our first. 2022 Spider RT, and I'm assuming it's a limited. It doesn't say it on the badging anymore. It's got the trunk, unless they change that. Oh, since we're talking about the trunk, oh, he locked it, probably because he's got stuff in it. You'll notice it doesn't have a windshield. We'll talk about that here in a second. So, remember your power cord? light on it where your uh, WSB was right there that is still accessible if you want to put a cigarette lighter type thing in there but your little lock helper now has its own little this little cubby hole to hold it how cool is that your trunk light I think it was there before but now that's where your uh, WSB is and again that's still accessible if you've packed a bunch of stuff in here, you'll realize what a pain that can be trying to plug something in it. Anyway, it's up there and out of the way and a holder for this because that never stays there. It ends up rolling around in your trunk. So that has changed. And uh, obviously they fixed the, uh, the lock issue on here too. Fit and finish is supposed to be better throughout, which it looks like it's great. So the thing, the whole seat latch is supposed to be vastly upgraded. I don't see any difference with it. And they said it's not uh, retro. You can't go back to 21s, whatever. It's so different that the frame is different on it. Uh, we don't really, we, we don't know. Or maybe this is an earlier production that doesn't pertain. Don't know. But underneath the plastic here, unlike, of course, they don't have any old spiders in here. The motor, there is a like a framework piece, the windshield motor and all its electronics and the arms that protrude out are all one piece. And that piece is not on these. There's a, just a supply problem. I'm sure you guys hear this with the cars and stuff. There's a framework that holds the windshield that's just sitting up front. What else is down there? Oh, that's just the parts of the windshield. Okay. So all that's down there. So this one, you gotta be very careful where you park it 
because it's missing the um, the park brake module. It's missing the uh, reverse actuator and the whole plate and everything's not there. Not just the, maybe that's the way it comes assembled like that. So uh, that's missing. So you have no, uh, no reverse. So you be, need to be very careful where you park it because an SE6, um, it doesn't let the transmission is in a neutral or clutch engaged or disengaged mode all the time. You can push these things with them in gear. You get some resistance, but they push. Man, the color of this thing, this camera, I'm looking at this thing that's not even close to how cool this thing looks. It's almost got like a, I don't know, it's kind of a grayish color to it. That's that's pretty close right there. I, I got so many light sources here, it's impossible to keep the white balance. They come from the factory with the fenders installed and you guys that assembled those things trying to plug that thing in you know while it's while you're assembling them it's kind of a pain in the butt and this is supposed to be updated more robust a better fit the whole water wing thing and again I, I would probably have to take some screws out to see what's different but kind of looks like the same to me I, I, that's supposed to be improved But a whole lot of fit and finish stuff, which they've been doing that every year on these things. You remember the the deal where the the rubbers around the passenger handles flopped up in the air, and, but that was uh, rectified last year. She's a looker. I like that color, but it's so dark, boy. It would show every little dust speck and stuff on it, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna do an alignment on it today, and then uh. We need to stow it somewhere until the parts show up for it. Uh, somebody said that theirs was, um, I'm not sure where they were from, but I got a comment saying they were missing the ECM or something. That's a huge deal because we had uh, uh, some of the snowmobiles last year that were that way. That's a big programming thing, and there's a bunch of parameters that have to be um, have to be known certain sensors don't activate under certain temperatures and and um if there's anything missing or it doesn't read it um the, the it'll fail when you're initializing the writing the ecm because so i think the ecm comes to us blank like as if you ordered it through parts type of thing she's pretty mm, mm, mm. and then because it's missing the uh, reverse module it beeps the whole time you're you're trying to ride it so I, I went up to get a cup of coffee and i thought i had propped the doors open and i come downstairs I, dang it if i did somebody shut them behind me because i got into a conversation up upstairs but where am i going to park the thing it's just going to roll so i found a little flat spot out there and made sure it didn't roll off by itself and i uh, got the doors open and put it in here as you see it but our first 2022 and we can't sell it yet and i think we sold like the first 10 or 15 of them that's not a conversation i'd want to have with somebody but i guess uh that's the way they're all coming initially so if you have one on order um you can go look at it but uh you're not gonna be able to take it right away wicked cool love that color i have to look up see what that's even called oh look at this it went a flat color then they have that piano black going all the way out on some of them certain parts of this plastic scratch is so easy i wish they do it like the body work but i mean even look at that i know this is one that's really soft and you gotta be really careful when you're cleaning it so are those because uh, you will scratch them don't take some dirty old microfiber and run, run across it, I tell you that. But it's just like a black car, you know, it ends up having that look where it just looks normal. You don't even think about it anymore. But when you first get it and it's all shiny, you want it to stay that way, you know. Hmm, that just makes my heart go pitter-patter, that thing. Holy moly. All right, 
you remember the noise this thing was making yesterday when I test rode it? Good look at it. Here's the bracket protruding. This is the bottom of the tank. And that's the bracket. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that holds that thing down. Well, I don't even have to mess with it. That's not what's doing it. It's in the exhaust. And what that does is at high speeds, it vibrates. And it's usually, you gotta be careful what you put on this thing because uh, needless to say, the exhaust gets really hot. But it usually makes that noise right there in that joint. That's kind of a, what we used to jokingly call a muffler bearing. And uh, literally, it's a bearing. It allows that thing to move around. Well, the, um, the, the, the cupping and the springs end up rubbing and just create that sound. They all eventually do it. This one like looks like he rides a lot in the rain. I see a, a lot of rust spots or, or maybe it's where he stores it, I don't know. But uh, we'll, we'll lube her up and, and uh, make it go away. I think that's what, because when you're backing off and you're on the brakes, you know, you get that transition of power in it and makes that thing vibrate. You guys heard it yesterday. But yeah, no, no brake issues at all. The brakes are perfect. It's only got less than 2,000 miles on it. So uh, we'll mess with that right quick. And then uh, I'll do the alignment on that wonderful. And I do mean wonderful. And you guys that have these on order, don't panic. And don't not buy it. Get yourself on the list. You want this spider. Um, BRP will resolve this quick. It's no big deal. It's just a world part shortage thing. <laughs> I don't know the details of what's going on with these. You know, why those parts aren't available. But for whatever reason, they're good at rectifying it. We had dealt with this last year. Like I told you guys in a previous video. With the uh, ATVs and uh, snowmobiles. And they're all in loving hands of their owners now so don't panic just that quick easy peasy i'm not gonna discuss this because i'm not gonna have you catch your riker on fire you do what you think is best on your own i ain't gonna have somebody go well smoke told me to do this and i caught my riker on fire Oils will catch on fire on your exhaust. That's all I'm going to tell you. And I ain't telling you no more. But it's fixable. Man, that thing looks good. So, we'll do a video answer of a question. Somebody with a 2018 R1200 RT. Very similar to this 2019 1250 RT. It's asking, I don't know how he ended up alone without cruise control, but... Um, he wanted to know if you can retrofit cruise control onto his 2018 R1200RT. Yes. You order the switch assembly. It needs to be installed. And if you do it yourself, yeah, you got to be really careful. A lot of small pieces in there. But anyway, uh, the switch has to be installed. And then the DME has to be programmed to enable the uh, um, cruise control. I don't know the price of these things because it's based on your VIN number. You need to go in with the last seven of your VIN and uh, order the, the cruise control that matches yours. I I couldn't even guess a clue on what that thing would sell for. Being a BMW part, probably quite expensive, I would imagine. But yeah, the switch that has this cruise control on, off. Slow down, speed up, set, reset. And uh, programming, that's it bouncing out of work just a skosh after three today because we're heading to Kelso, Washington it's Pops or Kelly's dad aka Kelly's Papa <laughs> it's his 87th birthday today so we're going to go hang out with him a little bit how about that at the moment it's beautiful but that's the direction we got to go that ain't cool <laughs> Yeah, this ain't good we're there's a crash ahead and we're stopping and we see solid white on the freeway and way said hail reported ahead we're looking i can't see oh, over there sorry. yet yeah it's showing both lanes are red yeah. look at that solid white over there the 
freeway is completely white. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, look at that down there. Yeah. Looks like a winter wonderland down there. Look at this. Look at how much water is on the road. Literally a snow plow going down the frontage road. You might ought to be out here on the freeway. This is hail. Yeah. This is crazy. Look how much water that Audi's displacing up there. So it's 7.30 at night. The whole time we are at Papa's house, it was stunningly beautiful. I know. We had to go through that to get to the Yeah, it was a fight to get there. It's a great party. Tons of people there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a good time. You had a great 87th birthday. 87. Yeah. What a, what a nutter. <laughs> but that was cool. Hello there, YouTube. Been a minute since we've done an old car vlog. Yeah. And I don't know what happened here, but I don't know if the bulb died or. But it doesn't want to come on. Yeah, she won't come on no more, but it's. I guess it's bright enough we could have actually done it outside. But yeah. It's, it's nice it and warm be, in this car. Yeah, kind of take this. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it looked like it was going to be a whole lot darker and it kind of cleared up as we got here. Mm -hmm. Stop for gas and stuff. I, thought, oh, I better grab the light and do the goodbye in the car because it's going to be dark. Dark by the time we get home. Yeah. It's almost sunset. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's a good good day at work. Nice spending like five hours with Papa. Yes, it is. <laughs> and, uh, Very nice. And then we're going to end it on that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her thumbs up and you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Thank you. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, Thursday tomorrow. Yeah. Don't make me think I'm, yeah, I'm all losing mixed up. my nugget. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.